Hello, boys and girls from grade 2. Welcome to our new book, 2A. This is Nufal Gattan, and today we will start with our first episode from Unit 3. Let's find it. We will learn about a new letter sound, vocabulary, and reading. Let's move on to our new sound. If we blend two letters together, it will give us a new sound. Here we have the letter S with the sound S. And we have the letter H with the sound H. It will give us a new sound SH. 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 Say it with me. SH. SH. One more time. SH. Perfect, boys and girls. One more time. Shh. Shh. Can you think of words with the same sound? Shh. Shh is for ship. Ship. Take a look at the picture. Ship. Ship. It's a big ship. Shark. 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 Perfect. Repeat the word. Shark. Shark. Shop. 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 Excellent. One more time. Shop. Shell. 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 Repeat the word shell. This is a shell. Show, show, show. Excellent. One more time. Show, show. Shirt, 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 shirt. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Very good. Shoes. Now, let's read the underlined words with the sh sound. Let's read together. Okay. Sarah likes shopping. She goes shopping to buy a new shirt and shoes. She sees a ship and shells at the shop. I'm going to read it one more time. Sarah likes shopping. She goes shopping to buy a new shirt and shoes. She sees a ship and shells at the shop. I'm going to read it one more time. Please do focus on the sh sound. Sarah likes shopping. She goes shopping to buy a new shirt and shoes. She sees a ship and shells at the shop. All right, boys and girls. Let's see the first sentence. Sara likes shopping. She goes shopping to buy new shirt and shoes. All right, boys and girls. We have at the first line two words. The word shopping and she. The second line, shopping again. And then the third line, shirt and shoes. Sara likes shopping. She goes shopping to buy a new shirt and shoes. One more time, we have the words shopping, she, shirt and shoes. Let's move on to the next one. She sees a ship and shells at the shop. What do you think, boys and girls? She sees a ship and shells at the shop. Excellent. She, ship. Shells, shop. Can you repeat the words one more time? She, ship, shells, shop. Perfect. She sees a ship at shells at the shop. Excellent. It's practice time. All right, boys and girls. Let's circle the pictures that start with the shh sound. Remember, that starts with the sh sound. I'm going to give you a minute. 
All right, boys and girls, that is correct. Sheep, sheep, sheep. The sh sound is at the beginning of the word sheep. And shoe, 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 shoe. The sh sound is at the beginning of the word shoe. Although we have the word fish, but the sound sh comes at the end of it. Fish, fish. That is correct, boys and girls. Now, let's move on to the vocabulary. Take a look at this picture. This is a dress. Dress, dress. Please repeat, dress. That is correct. Dress, dress. My dress is purple. Excellent. My dress is purple. Can you use the word dress in a sentence of yours? Socks. 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 Take a look at this picture. Socks. The socks are in the box. Perfect. One more time. The socks are in the box. Gloves. Gloves, gloves. Take a look at the picture. Gloves, gloves. They are wearing gloves. Trousers, 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 trousers. Repeat it one more time, please. Trousers, trousers. That is perfect. Selma has red trousers. Basket, basket, basket. Take a look at the picture. Basket. Put the clothes in the basket. Fish, fish, fish. Take a close look at the picture. Fish. Fish can swim. It's practice time. Fill in the spaces with suitable words from the list. So, I'm going to read the list for you. Focus on the pictures and try to read the examples and find the correct answer. Shirt, basket, dress. One more time. Shirt, basket, dress. Number one. She likes the pink space. What do you think boys and girls? She likes the pink shirt or she likes the pink basket or she likes the pink dress. Take a close look at the picture. That is correct. She likes the pink dress. Perfect boys and girls. She likes the pink dress. Let's move on to the next one. Number two. Take a close look at the picture. He has a blue space. He has a blue space. I'm going to read the, the list for you one more time. Shirt, basket, dress. Shirt, basket, dress. That is correct. He has a blue t-shirt. He has a blue t-shirt. Perfect. Let's move on to the third question. Take a look at the picture. The space is on the table. The space is on the table. What do you think, boys and girls? I'm going to read the list again for you. Shirt. Basket, dress. Shirt, basket, dress. Going to give you a minute. Excellent. The basket is on the table. The basket is on the table. Can you repeat the sentence after me? The basket is on the table. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, Read the match to pictures, boys and girls. 
I'm going to read the sentences for you. Take a close look at the pictures and try to match them correctly. Number one, she got a yellow dress. She got a yellow dress. Number two, he likes eating fish. He likes eating fish. Number three, Amar is wearing brown shoes. Amar is wearing brown shoes. Take a close look at the pictures and try to match them correctly. I'm going to read the sentences for you one more time. Sentence number one. She got a yellow dress. Sentence number two. He likes eating fish. Sentence number three. Amar is wearing brown shoes. What do you think, boys and girls? Great job! She got a yellow dress. He likes eating fish. Ammar is wearing brown shoes. Excellent! Check your answers, please. She got a yellow dress. He likes eating fish. Ammar is wearing brown shoes. Remember, boys and girls, you do have a homework at your pupil's book, page 35. Try to label what's there. The as the first one is already done for you, this is a shirt. This is a shirt. Try to do the rest of them. The words are shoes, trousers, shirt. Shoes, trousers and shirt. All right, boys and girls, we have reached the end of today's episode and we learned how to use the new sound shh, how to read to identify words with the new sound shh, and how to use the new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to read to match sentences to pictures. Thank you for watching us for today and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye.